Crokinole Solitaire is a fun solo gaming experience meant to improve your Crokinole skills. Let's get right into it. Crokinole Solitaire is part of the Crokinole Cards Kit created by Coulter Hahn. If you want a set, you can go to tracyboards.com and buy yours today. The objective of the game is to clear off all the opponent's discs and then score an open 20. If you do this, you win. But if you're overwhelmed by opponent's discs or you run out of cards to draw, you lose. Let's get set up. You are going to grab the deck of cards and the six-sided die from the box. You will notice three types of cards. Blue cards determine where on the board you will put opponent's discs. Orange cards add an extra condition to the round you're about to play that make it that much more tricky. Finally, there's the purple card, the saving grace. We'll circle back to this later, but for now, remove this card from the deck. Next, you are going to choose a difficulty to start at. The difficulty determines how many discs you get to shoot each round. Beginners get to start with five discs, normal, four, and hard, three. For this example, we're gonna start at the beginner difficulty and start with five discs. Next, you will choose a level to start at. We highly recommend you start at level one. The levels determine how many cards you will draw each round. We will get into how this works later. For now, regardless of what level you choose, you will begin by drawing four cards from the deck. Follow the instructions on the cards and get set up. Please note, for the blue cards, when you are placing opponent's discs, place them as if your spot is player one. Once the board is set up, you can start shooting. Shooting works as it normally would in a crokinole game. If you need a refresher, you can watch our beginner's guide to crokinole. But to quickly recap, you shoot from the outermost line of your quadrant and you are trying to knock off discs. One notable rule is that if at any point one of your discs remains on the board and you want it out of your way for any reason, you can opt to remove your own disc from play, putting it into the gutter to, for example, clear space for your next shot. If you are able to knock off all the opponent's discs and then score an open 20, you win. However, if you have shot all your discs and four opponent discs or more are still on the board, you lose. If neither of these conditions are met, you will now draw cards. The amount of cards you draw is determined by two things. One is determined by the level you chose between level one and level three. Two, it is decided by what you roll on the six-sided die. Here is a chart outlining how many cards you draw which is also in the instructions manual. Take your roll and determine how many cards you need to draw. Then you repeat. Follow the instructions on the card, try to take out the opponent's discs. If you do that and score an open 20, you win. If at any point in the game, you run out of cards to draw from the deck, this is also a condition to which you lose. So, Make sure to get that open 20 before you run out of cards. If at any point you are having trouble with a certain level or difficulty, you can now add the Saving Grace card. The Saving Grace card allows you to retake any shot that still remains on the board. So if you shoot your disc and your disc is still on the board after your shot, you can take it and reshoot it as many times as you like, as long as it doesn't go in the gutter during the shot. Once you've completed the level with the Saving Grace card, remove the card yet again and retry the level. Here are some other rules that are important to note. If at any point during a round, you score a 20 off of an opponent's discs, you are allowed to reshoot your disc. However, if you put one of the opponent's discs in the 20, the round automatically ends. So if on your first shot, you bring the opponent's disc, and there's still four on the board, you lose. If this happens on your last shot and you don't lose, you will add an additional two cards to your next draw. So if you're supposed to draw two cards, you would now draw four. In other words, don't sink an opponent disc. And that is everything you need to know about Crokinole Solitaire. 
Hopefully this game helps you to improve your crokinole prowess and we want to know how this helps out. So let us know in the comments both how it helps your skills and how you do in the game in general. If you want to see a demonstration of how this game is played, we will be coming out with a demonstration video very shortly. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that video. As always, happy flicking.